So this is the ultimate video tutorial for the ultimate automatic minecart system that automatically unloads and loads anything you put into it. So we have a potato and carrot farm right above us as we speak. I'm going to manually plug in some items here just to show you what's going on. The, the minecart stops in its tracks, unloads everything, and then fires when it's, it's empty. And it's going to do the same thing up here while it's unloading. And then it loads into a storage system. The potatoes are sorting there. This is an auto sorter, guys. It completely sorts everything. And in the back here, we have a doohickey that actually smelts the gold ore into gold ingots. And then if we come around the front here, we'll see that it is in its proper spot. As you can see, every single item here is sorted completely perfectly. I'm going to show you how to build this as well. This is an auto sorter. Uh, obviously, you can choose not to build this part of it. I think it's a great thing. Let's say you have a mine or just um, a ver variety of different farms attached. Maybe you have a creeper farm attached to it. Maybe you have a spider farm attached to all of that. It's pretty easy to set up. Uh, there are a lot of hoppers involved, but it's absolutely worth it. the mining time. Or if you have an iron golem farm, that's even better. So I'm going to show you every single bit of resource you're going to need, along with a step-by-step -step tutorial starting now. Okay, so resources you were going to need. I've broken this down into two separate steps here. Here is the sorting system. I'll get to that in a second. But for the item transportation railway portion of this, you're going to need around a stack of redstone repeaters. In this design, I actually only used uh, about like 22, I believe, but um, you're better off probably getting anywhere between 40 to 64 redstone repeaters. You're gonna need exactly two redstone comparators. You're gonna need uh, as many railways um, as it takes to get it from point A to point B. That differs from many different situations, right? And um, however many redstone torches or redstone blocks that it takes to power the powered rails, you're probably not gonna need that much. And you're probably gonna need a lot more rails, uh, two powered rails. You might need less powered rails, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know how it works. <laughs> and then you're gonna need exactly one detector rail. All right, uh, and then probably around 30 redstone dust and something around 20 hoppers. Uh, a lot of this stuff is circumstantial and you'll see in a second what I mean. Uh, then you're gonna need exactly uh, six building blocks of any kind. I use white concrete because I think it looks nice and industrial. You're going to need one slab of any kind. Um, I'm using quartz to kind of uh, correspond with the white concrete to some degree. And then you're going to need one lever to turn the system off and either a minecart with hopper or a minecart with chest. The minecart with chest stores more and it also stops it from overflowing the system as well which can be very very useful. And I also uh, have another redstone contraption that I put underneath the floor and I use a lot of the repeaters for that that also uh, stops the overflow and I'll show you how to build that towards the end of this tutorial. Alright so this one is a little more difficult uh, and this is of course uh, for the item sorter. So this top row here might be a little bit confusing I'll explain. This is every single resource that you're gonna need per item that you are sorting out uh, and that's assuming that you are doing four levels. And four levels is nice because you get lots of storage space, right? Along with the hoppers in the back, lots and lots of storage space. And, um, you know, when you're on the ground, you can still reach the fourth one up there. And it's not going to be super, super annoying. If there was a fifth one up there, that might be a little annoying. Um, so four is really nice. So this is assuming that you're doing four and this can be expanded all the way to the right as far as you want it to go. So let's say you wanted to sort out 32 different items, then you would get 32 redstone comparators, 32 redstone repeaters, uh, 32 redstone torches, 64 redstone dust, and uh, <laughs> math like 530 something hoppers or something like that. Uh, and so on and so forth, right? So you just multiply that. And this is for this whole top row, uh, you're going to need uh, th that amount of items per thing that you want to sort out. Uh, so hopefully you understand that. Comment down below if you don't understand uh, what I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, so now uh, what you're going to need is eight additional chests for the junk. 
uh, disposal here. Everything that does not filter into this system here gets sent into the junk disposal, right? It's a very, very useful thing. So you're gonna need uh, about eight chests for that. And then you're also gonna need eight hoppers. As you can see, this coming off here uh, is about, I'm oh, sorry, I think it's 11, sorry, yeah. Uh, 11 hoppers for that. And then you're gonna need about like five furnaces. That's kind of arbitrary. I have two here, but let's say you're making a bigger system. Uh, there's probably about five things in the game you would, you might want to, um, you know, smelt uh, for whatever purpose. So, you know, some, something like five furnaces and then lots of blocks of coal. And that is it. Let's get right into it, guys. Let's get into the build. So first off, we're gonna build the loading portion of this minecart system. You put a block down, you crouch, you jump, and you put your hopper there, and this is a temporary block, so you can remove that. So basically, this is the bottom hopper, and uh, the way you, you know, feed resources into this is up to you. I don't know uh, what your farms look like or how you get resources from one place to the other, but, uh, you know, it could be a water stream or it could be something like this. It really is up to you. So now what you do is you put your return block back. So this is the block that's going to return the minecart to wherever it goes. So in this case, our track is going to be go going this way, right? And something you want to make sure of is that there's at least one regular rail right here on this space. There can only be one powered rail right there on that space. You could put one here if you wanted to. It really is up to you. Uh, but just so long as there's one regular rail there. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this because we're actually going to put a uh, detector rail there uh, for what I like to call the backup system. The hopper minecart can only hold so many things, and if it's overflown, then of course this item hopper still has things in it, and then therefore the comparator still sensing, which by the way, the comparator goes here, the, compar the comparator is sensing that there's items in the hopper, and it won't move. But the backup system will save that, and I'll show you how to hook that up in a second. But yeah, so basically, you put the comparator here, you, this is a temporary block, you go like that, you get rid of that, you stick a redstone repeater right there, and then you stick a piece of redstone dust right beside that repeater. This is what this looks like right now, right? So it's kind of a, a V shape uh, with the hopper here, uh, easy enough. And then you grab a redstone torch, bada bing, bada boom, you have a fired circuit. And what you can also do is you grab a lever, and you could put it on top. So at any time, you could turn the whole system off if you want to. That way, it's not just running all the time. You don't have to, you don't have to like uh, destroy the minecart or something like that because it, it can cause lag. And if you don't want it on, then that's an option. Okay, so now I'm just gonna build it out to where I need it, essentially. Just make sure that this rail is long enough because otherwise the backup system is kind of kind of messing everything up. Uh, like for example, the one I built over here is way too short because the backup system keeps messing with it. Like it keeps firing way too early while there's things still loading into the um, into the minecart hopper. But this should be long enough, okay? And just uh, towards the end somewhere, just put uh, a powered rail so then they can actually boost on up to a little pedestal that we're about to build here. Basically what you do is you you crouch jump and place a hopper there. You put a powered rail on top. So temporary block, regular block, but a bing, but a boom, temporary block, regular block. So that's a V. So there's a kind of a zigzag um, pattern with the hopper there. And now just like the other side, uh, the comparator goes right beside the hopper because we want to sense what there's items inside of that. That's one of the functions of the comparator. And um, the repeater, it's just a good way to remember it. Uh, the repeater always goes adjacent to the actual rail. So the repeater is going to power this block, which is going to subsequently power this block right here. And what you're going to want also is a return block, right? So this is going to return the cart right back. So what we want to do is quickly just um, build out some more hoppers facing this direction here. I actually did that wrong. So there's the reference block there because it's lined up. And basically what we do is we crouch and we build out hoppers to the origination point, which is over here, right? And what you're also going to want to do is delete this hopper quickly, crouch, press like that, see all of the spouts are facing in that direction, we're all good there, and you put your powered rail, oh, and you put your powered rail right back on top with a regular rail, 
Bada bing, bada boom, that's looking pretty good. So now, to finish the circuit, all you gotta do is come down here, adjacent to that comparator, which the double torches, by the way, are facing that hopper, just remember that. Torches facing there, right? You got the return block. Make sure the hoppers are spouting over this direction. In fact, we might even want to build out some more, depending how large you want to make your, uh, you know, um, automatic sorting system. Let's make it pretty large, uh, just for now. So we have built out the hoppers this far. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different resources that it's going. So you, you, you just subtract these two. So there's going to be nine different resources that we can filter into this. And just to clarify, you can have chests going all the way down to bedrock with this system here. Uh, you can have an immense amount of storage, uh, so you can just have resources going into the system uh, for hours and hours while you're AFKing or whatever. And um, you can extend it as far as you want to the right or to the left. So now you got to figure out which way your auto sorter is facing. I want mine to face this way, facing this other one. So all you have to do is... Um, build out blocks just like that so then the spouts go in that direction right so you crouch and you place them into this block wall here right so now the spouts are going right into that wall and then you build that out one further again subtracting these two right here this is very simple actually to build out guys it just takes a lot of iron if you're indeed doing this in the survival world which I don't know why you, you would make this otherwise if you were in creative or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I am, but for tutorial purposes, this is my test world. And uh, yeah, basically the same thing, guys. Same exact thing, uh, no difference whatsoever. And just for the sake of uh, understanding here, I'm going to break this just for now. We're probably going to have to replace some of these. But that's how that looks like. You have hoppers going along like that, and then you have hoppers uh, facing this way. And this really is like full-on easy mode here, guys. So basically, you see this pattern right here? Here, I'll, I'll remake it for you. Basically, what you do is you find the, the lowest hopper here. You build an L, right? And then it kind of kind of looks like a kind of a fish shape there, right? Uh, and in here is where your repeaters are going to go. And I suggest that you actually build your repeaters first facing uh, the front of your farm. So what you could do is build it out like this, find where that lines up with uh, subtracting these two, your first row here, right? So then just build out the repeaters because the repeaters is uh, the most uh, annoying part. And now what you want to do is encase the repeaters. So on this side here, so you lined all the way on the back and then just, oh, 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 and we want them all on one. And you encase them on top like this and here as well, all right? So yeah, basically you just fill out this, this fish shape that we've created initially, all right? Pretty simple on the bottom here, uh, on the underbelly of the fish. <laughs> uh, we're going to build out redstone torches all the way along. Fun stuff. Okay. Uh, and then up here, we put comparators going all the way along, just like the repeaters. Uh, double torch facing this way. And then we take some redstone dust, if we can find any. There she blows. And we just completely cover this all like a big old thick coat of maple syrup, just like that. That it's a weird looking maple syrup spread there. Uh, but anyway, and honestly, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make this super simple, you could even just place a chest like this, you know, uh, if you don't need that much storage space. I'm not gonna do that today though. What I'm gonna do is uh, take a one space, uh, you, know, you know, gap here, build up blocks all the way across. And then, right, uh, we're gonna build out some more hoppers, crouch, click, right click, all the way along here so they're feeding out further and further here and then we want to take a on a diagonal here we take our chests and we start building them out like this and uh we have a 
it's going to be a little weird coming up here, uh, but I, I'll explain to you why uh, I'm taking this weird type of uh, um, approach to this in a second. And now, jump on top of these chests, and you could start directing them down right into the chests. See, with that downward spout, just like that. And yeah, again, there's a lot of hoppers involved here. There's a couple of, you can honestly look up a bunch of different storage systems. I use this one personally because I usually have iron farms in my survival worlds. Uh, but there's some that use like water streams that use less hoppers. Um, and like, you know, as I, as I mentioned earlier, you can make this a lot easier than it is right now. But um, what uh, you can do now uh, with a couple of these, let's say the ones on the end, is with these ones, you can build out furnaces, just like that. Let's say you want to smelt glass and gold or something like that, and you could build those out just like that, and you know, keep these chests here as kind of like a facade so it looks better. So now to build it down to wherever we want to build it, we got to stagger one chest position here, right? Just like that, leave, uh, you know, one space all the way along here. Uh, same deal um, as we did before, but this time no furnace placements. Uh, but as you can see here, we have hoppers going into the furnaces and then hoppers coming all along, all the way along here. And now we're far, far enough, these hoppers are far enough the way that these redstone torches aren't going to block, um, you know, the free flowing movement of these hoppers. Cause if they were too close to here, that's why we staggered one chest. Uh, now we now we don't have to stagger anymore. Like we don't have to keep doing, uh, you know, um, a staircase like uh, staggering. Oh, uh oh, uh, put that back. Uh, what we can do now is just build them out like this, right? Just keep going along straight like this. No more staggering. Just right out underneath each other. Doesn't get simpler than this. And then. You just grab some more hoppers, you crouch, and you keep plugging them in. And this is just until your heart's content. You can make a huge sword system with this. You could, you know, make a have make a tower of chests if you wanted to. Uh, you know, if you're too lazy and you don't like emptying out chests, or you just have a, a, a crazy farm that's just plugging things in uh, constantly. And what you could do now as kind of a decorative thing, uh, I know it. You know, these chests are here and they're critical collecting items, but items will travel to the bottom chest. So what you could, what you can do is this is how you could start encasing it, right? You put stairs all the way along and then on these stairs, you can kind of start uh, figuring out what you want in every one of these. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> in every, every one of these chests coming along this way. And the way you kind of, uh, you know, direct that is what we're going to do now. So now on the back here, what we have to do is we have to create our filters uh, with the second row here, the middle row, not the top, not the bottom one here. There's that three initial rows we made at first, the, th the middle one here. And let's say, for example, we wanted to uh, filter in, um, I don't know, let's say oak planks. You know, we have a wood farm and we're sending via minecart we're sending wood to this farm so at the first comparator here click on that hopper uh this hopper is only going to be able to hold 22 items because the redstone signal that's going into it and this is going to filter that out right and then let's say let's do it with spruce planks too okay let's grab some spruce planks let's throw 18 in here Spread them out like that. Okay, so now we have all of the filters set up all the way along the way. We have diorite, we have sand, we have nether netherrack, because I figured, uh, you know, making, uh, this should be nether bricks. Uh, but anyway, um, nether bricks are gonna go here, glass is gonna go here. This is all gonna get filtered out. Uh, let me show you right now, and then we'll build the backup system. And I'll, you know, I'll demonstrate a scenario right now in which you would need a backup system. So right now we seem to be pretty good. We have um, things going in slowly but surely, right? Oak planks are going in and subsequently, you know, they're feeding in here. Everything is looking good so far. What do we have coming in now? Well, yeah, you basically get it. Okay, the sand coming in here. Yeah, it sorts things real good. Look at that. Like it's, uh, yeah, it's melting that up right now. And 
There's glass going into the place where there's supposed to be glass. There we go. Excellent. All right, guys. So now we just have to make a junk chute, which is easier than you would think it would be. Uh, all we have to do is grab some hoppers and then you just build out some uh, temporary blocks here coming out this way. So in that way you can just like uh, build out some hoppers, extend this top row just a little bit. And then uh, personally, I like to leave like one space like this. Uh, so then that way, you know, like uh, here, let's keep with the theme here. Let's say we put uh, quartz uh, like this or something like that, right? So that way we have that separation. And then we could put, uh, let's say the junk chests here. That's kind of like what I have it on the other side, right? They're facing that way. So then you know they're the junk chests. And then all you have to do is uh, go and build directly off of them like this, line that up, uh, right? However you want to redirect it and you can uh, kind of encase that like you have uh, the other side right let's say you do smooth quartz here yeah it's looking really good yeah you can put a whole system on it let's see oh yeah okay so we have uh, another brick come in here we have glass we got andesite we got granite oh boy do we have we didn't put stone in here but everything else has been sorted out completely perfectly. Excellent. So now the backup system. Let's say uh, this get, gets so crazily congested that this guy can't keep up. He's, he's stuck. He's kaput. He's, he's bada bing. This is why we have uh, created this, this funky guy right here. Okay? Uh, for some reason my ground is messed up. So... Um, what you want to do is just take out a pretty substantial area. And I know this is kind of like a janky fix per se. Uh, there's probably a more compact way to do this, but this is personally just the way I do it personally. And uh, what I'm going to do here actually is I'm going to grab a slab. Uh, okay, I'm going to grab a quartz slab. I'm going to destroy this for a second. And I'm going to place the repeater right back like that. So now what I'm going to do is grab a powered rail and make it connect underground, you know, uh, diagonally like that, if that makes any sense. So now we're going to have a whole like series of repeaters down here that's going to trigger a chain reaction that uh, gets triggered by the detector. And basically the idea is that it only really takes a few seconds for um, the uh, minecarts to load so in essence right so when right when that's triggered you see that was there was a redstone signal there so now um, typically I'd like to go for something like um, 20 repeaters or something like that for this so what you can do um, there's a lot of things you can do here right so you build them out like this and you kind of create kind of a, a chain like this. And what you're going to want to do is you put them on tick three. So all the way at the bottom, you're going to want to right click them until they uh, have the longest tick delay. Right. And uh, again, I'm going to go for about 20. You can go for more. You can go for less. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, personally, I find about 20 works just fine. And then the good thing about this is you can cover it up as the redstone is going to link up uh, with this um, in a second. And it's going to fire this even when this is overloaded. So as you can see what uh, I've done there, I've kind of staggered them because otherwise the redstone uh, will uh, connect and that's not what you want. So now in all of this uh, snaking, all you have to do is bring uh, the redstone signal all the way around. So now that it's head on, with this right here and now we're going to overload it you know so it's just facing directly at that powered rail just like that not you know if it's doing this it's not going to power it it has to be facing directly at it right okay let's overload it with more things 
And there we go. It's going to not be able to take the load. That's what she said. And boom, right? So that that's almost exactly how long it took. Uh, we have, I think we actually, we, we only have 19 here. That's, it It was almost perfect timing there, right? It, it took almost exactly that amount of time to load. But now what we have is a backup system that's going to back us up when uh, the output of this, uh, or sorry, the input of this is too much. Whew, all right, guys, that is the entire system there. And of course, um, you can cover this up, right? Completely discreet, just kind of a backup system that uh, you might fire off a little prematurely. Uh, you know, you're probably used to that. No premature firing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> At the end of the video, of course, I'm gonna wait to knock you. All right, 100% discreet, as you see. It's all still down there and firing every now and again against again it's better to have this longer than it is right now because uh the backup system is going to interfere with it more but uh, hey go crazy guys you know like uh, i went a little crazier in terms of decorating this and stuff like that and of course you can uh, cover up all this I, I left this uncovered so you can see uh in the beginning of the video and uh you know go crazy with the farms that you're plugging um into your uh, automatic farm and hey feel free to you know just go nuts guys so uh, thank you so much guys i really really appreciate it uh, i hope you enjoyed this hope this helped you out and if it has then uh, like share subscribe do all those wonderful things and uh i love you